Welcome to Amicast, podcast about Amiga computers. I'm your host, Krzysztof Radzikowski, but call me Christoph or Radzik. Amicast on YouTube again, and movie before we was updating the mouse. And now I think it's a good time to show you to which Amiga the mouse is connected. So this is uh, here the Amiga 600s. Uh, with vampire, so it's really trendy. And I would like to show you what is inside. It's open it because now is good time to uh, to talk about this because here I have the another CF card with the Apollo OS that I would like next time test it. Uh, for now, it's only my uh, Workbench 39 here. Uh, and uh, okay, but let's talk about the hardware. So here is something like hard disk, this CF card. Uh, then I have this, this is really useful um, to transfer the data, but uh, last year I upgraded to USB from individual computers. So which much more better solution in my opinion than um, CF transfer. Uh, and instead of this, I can use my wireless um, card to have the wireless uh, internet on the Amiga, so it's working without uh, any problems, like you can here see, for example, yeah, uh, Amiga News D DE, uh, so it's working, ah, it's working. Uh, so, okay, and of course, this is the most important stuff of here is Vampire, uh, and this is... Um, what year ago, I think, or something like that, 382. Really cool card, and it's working really, really stable compared to my Amiga 2000 with um, Blizzard uh, 060. There, it's much more reliable hardware, but uh, sometimes slower, especially with FP FPU. And here is a small micro, micro uh, SD, small SD card. Uh, and it's um, a little bit um, funny connect because uh, I wouldn't, uh, I don't like maybe cutting the the housing, and so everything is uh, cut through this this trapdoor. And it's uh, of course the two megabyte chips uh, with battery for clock on. Oh, this is like that, uh, and of course this clock port expander that is connected the USB and everything is really funny connected here but it's working and here is my latest upgrade of gothic i used gothic before with the or original housing and now it's printed this uh, black and it's really nice and when i close it it, it works without problems uh, okay so and this is all maybe i should put something more here but um, basically um, i don't need so much more stuff it's uh, w with gothic is completely silent uh, vampire is silent without uh, uh, extra duration here it's it's can work free for days without resetting and uh, for example rendering something or, or uh, copying data and uh, no problems at all mm, okay so let's uh, close it so it looks like this really nice white Amiga 600 um, and here I will not maybe show something special because I think it's uh, make no sense for now uh, but it's uh, Workbench 3.9 so Amiga is 3.9 the latest one uh, really cool stuff uh, and uh, I browse here even Apollo uh, forum from which you can now download here the FPU emulation and I will test it soon compare it to to um, really 060 processor how it's uh, faster or slower we'll see for now vampire was slower uh, but uh, I hope it will be better it's great so uh, it's hardware and uh, I really would like to test the Apollo OS so this is 3.9 in, in made by I don't know Apollo team or somebody, but um, I will try and for sure make more 
uh, professional video from this, uh, I think through HDMI. But uh, as you can see here, everything is nice working. Uh, and um, SD card is here, and the CF, everything is, is, is here. So, yeah, thanks.